very happy morning students today we are going to discuss about another interesting topic that is excretion in your 10th class biology okay what is excretion first we need to understand the definition of excretion let's have a look it is a biological process excretion is a biological process involved that process involved in separation and removal of wastes okay separation and removal of waste or non useful non useful products from our body from living organisms body okay excretion is a biological process that involved in separation and removal of waste waste or non useful products from the body is called as excretion this excretion is also called as waste disposing system okay waste disposing system okay then what is the meaning of excretion excretion is a latin word we take the word excretion from latin here ex ex means out crinare crinare means shift ex means out crinare means shift totally we call it as out shift here what we are making out shift the waste which is produced inside our body okay depending on the doubts where does the waste produced inside the living organism's body how it may produced depending on all such variety of doubts we just get clarity about excretion where does the waste produced how it produced and how we are making the waste to go out of our body we are going to discuss in a deep manner in this chapter excretion okay you people are well familiar about uh, factories okay factories inside the factories what the workers are doing they just creating new products is it right will you imagine or be able to produce or create a new product without producing any waste is it possible yes it is impossible whether the product is very small or very big it may produce some waste like a gaseous waste or solid waste or liquid waste okay each and every new creation it may produce waste okay any product for the production of a new items Uh, the process in the process of production of new items it just produce waste as like factories our body not only our body living organisms body also able to produce new products okay along with the new products they can produce waste okay then let's have a look Uh, we are capable to compare our body with a factory why inside our body is made up of millions and trillions of cells each and every cell acts like a factory that's why we are calling our entire body entire living organism body as cellular factory what we are calling cellular factory and in this cellular factory many activities are going on for a single minute or for a single second many reactions may occur inside the cell inside our body inside our tissue inside our organs is it right yes it is right then what is meant by metabolism you heard the word metabolism different activities may happen inside the cell okay the reactions which takes place inside the cell okay the activities which takes place inside the cell 
are called as metabolic activities metabolic activities whenever we discuss about metabolic activities here we know we want to know about another two reactions what are that anabolic reaction and catabolic reaction anabolism and catabolism what is meant by anabolism anabolism means a construction process a building process okay by the joining of many simple molecules if we produce any big molecule then it is called as anabolism the best example for anabolism is photosynthesis in the photosynthesis by using simple molecules simple molecules like water carbon dioxide in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight it may produce complex molecule like glucose starch okay that's why we call photosynthesis is the best example for anabolism if we talk about catabolism it is completely opposite of anabolism it is a breakdown process here if we break down any big molecule into simple ones by a reaction if a complex molecule break down into simple one then it is called as catabolism and these two anabolism and catabolism together called as metabolism anabolism and catabolism together called as metabolism and these two reactions may occur inside the cell means metabolic many metabolic reactions may takes place inside the cell as a result of metabolic reactions the cell it just produce new products along with the new products it also capable to release the waste okay then what is that waste generally in the human beings body we just find certain waste materials like water nitrogenous materials carbon dioxide oxygen okay and some salts these are the some few examples of waste materials we may find inside the living organisms okay animals they just produce the waste material uh, in the formation of energy or in any metabolic activities and that waste materials just they just uh, uh, excrete out of their body then what about plants will they excrete like animals every day is it possible no then see here plants as like animals plants also capable to produce the waste do they excrete the waste regularly like uh, other living organisms no see here waste materials which are produced inside the body of a plant are stored are stored in some other form in some other useful form in their body parts like fruit leaf stem bark seeds like that they will choose different body parts and they just store the waste material inside different parts okay and if you see finally they also excrete the waste how they excrete wherever the leaf get ripen wherever the color of the leaf changes it just fall off shut down what about fruits after ripening they just fall off they reach the ground like that they just excrete the waste for the excretion of waste plant take more time and sometimes they may use the waste materials for their protection some plants if we see some plants they may give bad odor okay they convert their waste materials uh, into some certain chemicals which may produce bad odor and certain fruits if you taste it may give bitter taste okay in order to get protection from different herbivorous animals and different uh, enemies they just store the waste materials okay in order to get protection from enemies from the environment okay like that uh, the plants are capable to store the waste materials for a longer time in different body parts 
and they also make the waste materials into certain useful forms finally they also excrete the waste but it may take long time for excretion they are not behaving like animals okay do you understand about this then it is time to discuss about the excretion in human beings how excretion takes place before going to that what are the different waste materials generally we find inside the human body see here children inside the human body we may find water as a waste material water as waste material are you able to believe me is water a waste material yes human body it may contain certain amount of water because of the biological activities they may um, produce some amount of water whenever the amount of water increasing inside the human body it may cause disturbance for certain processes like osmosis okay and if we talk about salts okay if the salts the concentration of salts increases inside the human body then it leads to ionic imbalance and it also leads to change in the ph balance change in the ph balance at the same time human body also releases certain waste materials certain waste materials what are that nitrogenous waste materials like urea uric acid creatine creatinine ammonia these are all called as nitrogenous waste material and when these nitrogenous waste materials produced you people are well familiar with the proteins okay and the proteins they just break down to produce amino acids by the process of emulsification by the process of emulsification the proteins they just break down to produce amino acid by the process of this a uh, breakdowning of proteins they may release uh, more amounts of nitrogenous waste like urea uric acid and ammonia creatine and creatinine in all that nitrogenous waste one of the dangerous waste material is there what is that ammonia it is very very poisonous it is very very poisonous which one is very very poisonous ammonia and then uh, sometimes uh, we may find certain waste materials like bile pigments inside the human body not sometimes uh, generally we find inside the human body then when does they produce in the process of breakdown of rbc we know that rbc rbc cells red blood cells they are capable to survive about 120 days that is the lifetime of rbc after the death of rbc they just all the dead rbc cells they just reach the spleen that's why we call the spleen as backyard of the red blood cells after the death they just break down and they may release certain waste materials like bile pigments what are the bile pigments like uh, eurochrome bilirubin biluveridin okay eurochrome bilirubin and biluveridin and here one important point that is eurochrome eurochrome is a bile pigment it give it adds yellow color to the urine it give amber color to the urine okay how the urine uh, is in yellow color in pale yellow color because of the presence of a bile pigment called as urochrome okay and why sometimes the urine give bad odor because of the presence of a poisonous waste called as ammonia because of presence of urea okay because of the presence of urea and ammonia it just give a little bad odor to the urine okay then these are all waste materials of human body 
Whenever the accumulation of waste materials lives for a longer time, if the accumulation of waste materials takes place for a longer time, it leads to the dangerous condition of the cell. Sometimes it also leads to the death of the person. That's why uh, our body need to excrete the waste material out of the body by using a system called as excretory system. Then what are the uh, excretory organs present in, inside the human body? We are going to discuss about uh, in another video. Okay about excretory system especially present in the human beings we are going to discuss in the next session